Yo, bros. This is bullshit. I can't believe UD doesn't believe in... Nine chances. Yo, what the hell? The president's probably just mad we got way more puss than him. Yeah, who even cares? We don't need to be on campus. You're right. We'll still be the litest, beer chugginist, bitch bagginist frat in the whole US of A, baby. You know what? You're right. Being kicked off doesn't even matter. Yo, I bet this week's Alc money, we don't crush any less poon this week than we have all year. Yeah, I actually just ran some numbers, and now that UD isn't weighing us down, we should see an increase in baddies roughly between 69 to 420 percent. I just had an idea. It's been one minute without UD weighing us down, and we're already balling out on our own. Holy shit, we are! So why stop there? We can do anything on our own. We're in control of our own destiny. There's no one holding us back. We can accomplish anything. Alpha Sigma Sigma is going completely self-sustainable, baby. Fuck yeah, baby! Oh yeah! yeah! Oh yeah! That's right! Dude, that's a fucking great idea. We could become our own country. I bet the paperwork isn't even that hard. True. And I've literally never heard of one story where a country splits off from another and it doesn't go well. Yeah, especially not in the US. Boys, let's get to work. All right, you handsome devils. With election as Ricky as president, we are now in business. The United States of Alpha Sigma Sigma is officially its own self-sustainable country. Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Calvin, I believe this calls for a celebration dinner. Boys, it's an honor to be elected the ASS chef. I've always had a passion for cuisine. I'm excited to showcase that to the entire country. Damn, it's been so long since I had a home-cooked meal. Oh my god. Calvin, you've outdone yourself, man. Come on in, bro. Oh, I don't feel so good. My stomach hurts so bad. I'm not sure what it could be. Oh, you know, I've been eating so much healthier since we ditched the United States and started eating Calvin's cooking, but I'm starting to think it's like food poisoning now. Well, it's a good thing you came to me. As the number one rated doctor in the country, I've seen a lot of cases like this. Well, luckily, I'm also the Food and Drug Administration, and I've done some tests, and I can already rule out our food supply as one of the causes. So, like, what should I do now? As any good FDA director slash doctor would say, if it ain't the food, you need drugs. So I'm going to prescribe you this. You'll see a week-long program to cure you there. I wanted to start you off light, but we only have regular buds. So you're going to want to shotgun one of these every hour on the hour. And I recommend a couple balm reps after each to counteract the burping. And if your stomach still hurts 30 minutes after the final beer, try a shot at Tito's. Thank God this country has been blessed with a medical association that has such high standards. I'm feeling better already. Brothers, uh, I've really been struggling with these numbers. You guys are so lucky you don't have to be an accountant for an entire country, but even luckier that you have a guy like me to do it for you. Our total expenses come out to about uh, $800, and uh, that divided by eight, since eight of us live here, is gonna be about $20 each. Holy shit, did we hire the Wolf of Wall Street? Our rent is always 100 bucks, and Tommy the accountant from heaven got it down to 20. What a beast. Yeah, and that's not all, boys. Thanks to Malcolm, our trade and exports relations manager, we've salvaged our relationship with the U.S. so we can continue exporting marijuana and cocaine. Our exports put us in the black, so rent this month is free, boys. Yeah! How is it my fault? Cal is the one that hasn't washed the dishes. How am I supposed to clean up after an entire country? Homelessness is up 800% since fucking Tommy didn't pay rent. Yo, I was way too slow to do the math that night. And doesn't this fall on the president anyway? Down with yeah, Ricky. Down with fucking Ricky, fuck you, Ricky, Ricky. bro. Fuck, you. fuck off, man. Enough. We cannot keep fighting like this. The only way to resolve our issues as a nation is to expand. The only way to get back afloat is to invade the United States. Holy shit, that's genius! That's our best idea in weeks. What could go wrong? 